Hey y'all, happy Monday. Uh, it is a gloomy, gloomy day outside, so my lighting is not fantastic, but this is the best spot I could find for this, and so we got half of my son's face and my jewelry that needs to be straightened out because I have uh, packed it up and unpacked it about 15 times, so it needs to be straightened so it looks pretty. But anyways, today we are going to do a little business tip. I teased about it earlier on my Socially Shanna Facebook page, and so I wanted to expand a, bit, a little bit about it here, and I've talked about it plenty of times one-on-one um, -on -one when I'm consulting with companies or businesses or direct sellers or any of my team members for my Chloe and Isabel team that I coach. Um, it is simply this, that no matter what line of sales you are in, because I'm going to just get to this as quick as possible because i got other stuff to do. Um, no matter what kind of sales you are in, whether you are making huge business deals or you are selling jewelry or you are selling yard supplies or you know you're you have a small business as a photographer because I have extensive experience with this as well what matters the most is that you are always selling yourself first and I don't mean as if you're selling yourself to the devil so let's not get crazy what I mean by that is you are selling people have to like you your personality they have to want to be around you they have to connect with you if they are not feeling you like that, they're not gonna purchase whatever it is you have. It wouldn't matter how awesome your product is unless maybe you're the only one in the entire area, the only place they could get it from, they might suck it up and buy it from you. But in general, the competition is there. So if you want people to purchase whatever it is you're selling, whatever your service is, your item, you have to sell yourself first, as in you have to make yourself likable and approachable and people wanna like you. Okay, so if they don't like you, they're not going to buy from you. It's very simple. I learned that very quickly when it came to photography. Um, we were all kind of concerned about we don't want to be too expensive and price ourselves out of the market. But the truth is, if people like you, they will figure out a way to afford you. So if you're a photographer and you happen to be watching this, please remember that. Do not sell yourself so short, especially if you are a talented photographer because... There are so many photographers out there that are not talented. They might get a good shot every now and then. They have excellent equipment. They're lucky, but your talent will stand the test of time. So remember that, okay? And remember that people will, if they really like you and they want to buy, use you to photograph their wedding or they want to buy your jewelry or they want to do, they're looking for anything. If they connect with you, they will find the money. Don't ever sell yourself short in that sense. So with that respect, when it comes to your business and your social media, especially with social media, you, if that is your only outlet to advertise your business, if that is how you are getting the word out about what you do and what you offer, it has to be more than buy, 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 this is what I sell, hi, I sell this, hi, buy this for me. It has to be, this is, like, this is Shanna Colley. I sell jewelry. These are my silly children. This is what I do every day. I hang out with my kids, and by the way, I sell jewelry. By the way, I consult with companies about their marketing and their social media strategies. By the way, I do that. you got to slip that in so they've connected with you otherwise. If you are not connecting with your audience that way, you're going to flounder and you're going to feel very discouraged. So remember that. When I'm telling, um, especially with my team members, I mean, we sell jewelry, okay? So I, I, if any of you are friends with me on my personal page, you saw that last night my son, who is seven and he is hysterical, was mimicking me <laughs> and how I take selfies. And it was... It was pretty funny. I laughed hysterically. But I selfie because I'm wearing jewelry that I sell. And people connect with the... If I just put a picture of the jewelry up by itself, it's pretty. But they don't see how it's styled. They don't see how I wear it. They don't, can't put themselves in that position. So that is where selfies come into play when it comes to my business. And a lot of businesses actually would probably benefit from more selfie kind of pictures so people could connect with what's behind the product or the company so they identify with them. Um, you know, I, I personally like, I like small businesses and I like to know who I am working with and what their history is and how they got into what they do and why they do it. So it means, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the only one that likes that because that's kind of how it works. I mean, if you take any kind of business marketing sales course class, whether you go like the whole four years or you just take one online or you just do some research, you will see that it is proven in fact that people purchase and they buy and they work with personalities and people that they like. So you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Don't try to be because there's plenty, of, there's plenty of us to go around. Be yourself. Be authentically you. 
put it out there and that's going to help you bring in those sales and those customers and those clients and it may not pan out for you like immediately and I had to have this talk with some of my girls recently about their social media posts they said Shanna I'm not seeing um, any direct response to what I am posting on Facebook or Instagram and I'm not getting any sales you don't know that you're getting sales and you may not get that sale today you may not get that sale next week or next month but people know what you do people are following you people are seeing your post now people see things all the time they don't like and you know why because Facebook aggravates the crap out of us if you like something and then it just keeps showing you somebody commented or whatever so maybe you won't actually like it but you saw it and it sticks so it's at the top of your brain top of mind awareness anybody that is a marketing person knows I'm talking about but you want to stay right here in people's minds so your social media posts whatever you're putting out there your personality is sticking with people so keep at it make make people like you right now you can't make people like you but be yourself and find your niche and that is all for today so I said I was going to do this quick but it still ends up being like six minutes on here so we'll see have a fantastic day y'all and if you have any questions for me let me know I am working on a few little things to help some of you that need some social media help on the smaller scales I'm still available to help manage your your um, social media on a grander scale and in between so let me know have a great day